Good evening. It's Friday evening, the 17th of July, with the start of another weekend, a weekend in which the, the city of London is opening up a little bit more. This is also the weekend in which, the weather permitting, uh, the Church of the Ascension will be trying an outdoor worship service. Uh, details of that will be emailed or sent to you. Uh, I hope you'll be able to make it. We will be using our evening prayer from the Book of Alternative Services, beginning at page 66. O Lord, I call to you, come to me quickly. Hear my voice when I cry unto you. Let my prayer be set forth in your sight as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Behold now, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you that stand by night in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the holy place and bless the Lord. The Lord who made heaven and earth bless you out of Zion. Our psalm this evening is Psalm 34. We'll be reading a few verses from it. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall ever be in my mouth. I will glory in the Lord. Let the humble hear and rejoice. Proclaim with me the greatness of the Lord. Let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he answered me and delivered me out of all my terror. Look upon him and be radiant, and let not your faces be ashamed. I called in my affliction, and the Lord heard me, and saved me from all my troubles. The angel of the Lord encompasses all those who fear him, and he will deliver them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Happy are they who trust in him. In our psalm collect, God of our salvation, come quickly to free the poor from their oppressors, and establish your reign of justice on earth, that your people may sing out with joy through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our reading this evening continues from the Gospel according to St. Matthew, and we are reading now in the 26th chapter, beginning at verse 17. On the first day of the unleavened bread, the disciples came to Jesus, saying, Where do you want us to make the preparations for you to go eat the Passover? He said, Go into the city to a certain man and say to him, The teacher says, My time is near. I will keep the Passover at your house with my disciples. So the disciples did as Jesus had directed them, and they prepared the Passover meal. When it was evening, he took his place with the twelve, and while they were eating, he said, Truly, I tell you, one of you will betray me. And they became greatly distressed and began to say to him one after another, Surely not I, Lord. He answered, The one who has dipped his hand into the bowl with me will betray me. Then the Son of Man goes it is written, as it is written of him, but woe to the one by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would have been better for that one not to have even been born. Judas, who betrayed him, said, Surely not I, Rabbi. He replied, You have said so. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We pick off where we left off yesterday. You may remember yesterday that, uh, that Judas had gone silently away to say, what will you give me if I betray Jesus? And he agreed to do so for 30 pieces of silver. Now we come to the preparations for the Passover meal. I think it interesting that, that Jesus says, go to a certain man and say that the master is ready now and will be having the Passover at your place. I think it interesting that Matthew simply says, to a certain man, I suspect that Jesus gave the disciples 
fairly detailed instructions. This is a man you will go to, and here are the things that you will say. It sounds to me as if he had made these arrangements in advance. And so they made those preparations, and they gathered for the Passover meal. And then Jesus made to the disciples that frightening announcement that one of them would betray him. And one after another, they said, Surely not I, Lord. And then Jesus was a little more specific. He said that the one who has dipped his fingers in the bowl with me will betray me. Many commentators have said that that Jesus must have evidently then given one of those places of an honor beside him at the table with Judas, or the same bowl would not have been between them into which they could have dipped. And Judas, you may remember I said already yesterday in a preview of this verse, said, Surely not I, Rabbi. All the other disciples, as we said yesterday, had referred to Jesus as Lord. Judas said simply, Rabbi. This says to me that Judas was unable to accept Jesus as his Lord, that he did not believe in him. Each time that Judas seems to be mentioned in the scriptures, the the gospel writers aren't very good at keeping a secret because they always say, Judas, the one who betrayed him. It's, It's like a mystery writer is leaving clues that are a little bit too obvious. Judas became known from the very beginning as the one who betrayed Jesus. And then they began to share other things, like he had been stealing from the treasury. He he was not to be trusted, surely. That was Judas. A couple of other comments I would like to make about this passage. Did you note that, that Jesus said, go to the certain man? and say, I will be having the Passover at your house? Would Jesus be welcome in your home? Is he welcome in your home? Would you allow Jesus to say the Passover meal with his disciples at your place? Do you invite Jesus to your dinner table? Our family has a a prayer that It's been with us many years. It comes originally from the German. It goes simply, Come, Lord Jesus, be thou our guest, and let these gifts to us be blessed. My wife's parents then also offered a prayer at the conclusion of their meal. Thanks be to thee, Lord Jesus Christ, that thou hast come our guest to be. Is Jesus welcome? Have you prepared a place for Jesus in your home? Is he the center of your family life? Just a few things to think about. And you know, if if your answer to those questions is no, he hasn't been, he's not, it's not too late now to welcome him. If you don't say table prayers, Now would be the time to start. If you've not made Jesus welcome as your guest, why not start this very evening, or if you've already had dinner, tomorrow morning at breakfast. I would lay this upon you and ask that you consider it. Amen. We return now to our prayers And we begin with a prayer for the evening. Be present, O most merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and the chances of this life may rest in your eternal changelessness through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now the prayer appointed for this day. That is to say, the prayer from last Sunday. Almighty God, you have made us for yourself. 
and our hearts are restless until they find rest in you. May we find peace in your service and in the world to come, see you face to face through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And now I invite you to share your prayers in this time of silence. It was important to our Lord Jesus that we would pray, and he gave to us a model prayer that we might say, or upon which we could model our prayers. I invite you to join with me, and if you've learned it in another language or in another form, please feel free to pray in that way. As we say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now may the Lord bless us and keep us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious unto us. The Lord lift up his, the light of his countenance upon us and give us peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go now in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. My thanks to you for joining me this evening in evening prayer. May God bless you this evening. May God bless you with a refreshing and restoring night's sleep. And may God bless you tomorrow and in this weekend. Good night and God bless.